again everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very different video for all of you and as you can read by the title below it is going to be kind of like um, it's a video I've never done before, let's just sort it at that. But I'm going to be talking about what's different between living at home with your parents and living out on your own. Um, I have my own apartment with my boyfriend Chance, as you all know if you've been subscribed to me, you guys know that. Um, I do have an apartment tour, which I will link down below if you guys want to see that. But today I'm going to be talking to you about, you know, those kind of differences, you know, what to expect when you move out on your own. So me and Chance have been out on our own, just the two of us in our apartment that we have now for six months. We've lived here for six months. We moved in June 5th and it is now the middle of December. So it's been six months and, you know, it's been a good six months and we have had our hard times. So I'm just going to be kind of talking about that experience with you, kind of talking about, you know, what it's like to live with a significant other or you know living on your own and you know what what to expect with those things so first off I just want to say me and Chance have lived together since I was 17 I'm 20 now so we've lived together for three years this is not our first time living together um, this is just our first apartment together just the two of us alone so a lot of people think that me and Chance just moved in together and this is like our first time living with each other no that's not the case we've lived together for quite a while I moved out of my mom's house when I was 17 and I moved in with him and his parents and we slept in this tiny little basement room um, my entire senior year so I did um live with him for a while so this is nothing new to us the only thing that's new is that we have our own apartment alone together and we're responsible for all that stuff and then one question that I really want to answer is was I nervous of course I was you know moving into your own apartment with a boyfriend is really really scary and you know it can be a little nerve-wracking because you're moving in with someone who you're in a relationship with you're gonna be living with them full-time you're gonna be experiencing different things you're gonna really Really get to know who that person is and you're gonna be responsible you know for bills and all the stuff that comes with living on your own so yes I was very nervous and another question that one of my subscribers wanted me to answer is do I get any help from my family yes my family still is a big part of my life and still is a big help my family did help us move in on move-in day um, you know they helped us bring up all of our furniture um, and still to this day my mom still helps us out my mom will make food and bring us food sometimes you know if she just feels like cooking and she'll always make us like a little dish of something so that's really nice and occasionally um, I'll get help with like buying little things like toiletries like toilet paper um, you know toothpaste just little things like that um, I try really hard to take care of the stuff on my own sometimes it is really hard especially when you have other things to pay for you can't always get everything that you need so yes they do help a little bit in that department which I am so so appreciative for I don't know what I would do without my parents they're such a big help and I really appreciate them for everything that they have done for me since being out on my own they just they've been really great so now I'm going to get into the pros of living at home and the number one thing of living at home that you don't have to worry about is you don't have any bills you always have food in your fridge no matter what um, you don't have to clean the entire house by yourself um, you know you don't have dishes you don't have to take out the trash all the time you know your town really really well you don't have to you know get used to a whole new like city and streets and all that stuff um, and you always have family near you so those are the things that are good about living at home um, you know you don't have to pay bills which is like the number one thing about living on your own is you will have bills and you know you always have your family near you you don't always have to like you know you when you're at home you could just like walk in a living room and see your family whereas when you're living on your own you don't have that luxury so and some of the cons of living at home is you have rules there's a curfew you have chores um, you constantly have someone telling you what to do I know some parents can be quite naggy when it comes to that so that's kind of annoying and they always have expectations for you as you know like how you should look this is like this is some parents this isn't like all parents I'm just like I'm kind of going off of you know the typical household and kind of like what I went through like when I lived at home I didn't have any responsibilities at all um, my mom pretty much took care of me and everything the entire time I lived at home which is grateful but you know some parents they do have expectations you know as far as you should look your grades all that stuff so that can be kind of annoying 
Um, so those are pros and cons of living at home. And when you're out on your own, things get totally different. So the pros of living on your own in your own place is you don't have a curfew, you have no rules, you can look however you want, you can decorate your apartment however you want. Like if you wanted a certain wall color and living at home you weren't allowed to have that wall color, guess what, when you move into your own place you can paint the walls rainbow for if you wanted to. Like it's great, you can decorate and have your apartment look exactly how you want it. You don't have anyone telling you how it should look, how you should look. Um, you don't have a curfew, you can go out and you can go home whenever you feel like it. Um, there's no, you know, big rules. I mean, you do have to follow the rules of your, you know, apartment or whatever. Um, so you, those are like the only rules that you really have to follow, but you don't have like a parent constantly nagging at you, telling you what to do all the time. Um, you get to call the shots in your own life. Um, like when you go to the store, you get to decide what you want to budget your money with. Um, when you go to the store, you can buy whatever food you want. I know some parents wouldn't allow you to have junk food in their house. Well, guess what? When you live on your own, you can have all the junk food you want, and it's great. There are some cons of living on your own and some reality hitters that will hit you when you're living on your own is the number one thing is bills. Um, you do have bills. You have to pay your electric bill, your cable bill, um, water bill, depending on where you live, your rent, um, all that stuff. Um, so you do have bills, you have to take out the trash on your own, you have to do the dishes if you don't have a dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher, so I'm doing the dishes, and oh, do I hate it. I, oh, I fucking hate doing dishes. It's awful. So you do have to do dishes, you have a lot more responsibility, you have to be responsible for getting food for yourself. Um, if you have a car, you have to be responsible for filling up gas and getting an oil change, and you all have, and you have to do that when you're living on your own, because you can't just, you know, ask your parents for money to go get an oil change or ask your parents for gas, because if you're living out on your own, you have to do this all by yourself. Um, if you have, you know, if you bring any animals with you, they're, and you live alone, they are your number one responsibility. Um, well, in my eyes, my dogs are, but um, you know, you you have to be 100% responsible for them. You can't like have your mom or dad take them out while you're gone. Like you have to manage your time well and make sure that they go to the bathroom before you leave and make sure that they're taken care of and make sure they you have you bought enough food for them and all that stuff. Um, you have to keep your house clean all by yourself, and you know, seven rooms may not sound like a big deal, but you know, to keep it clean, it can get kind of kind of time consuming so you do have to take care of all those things by yourself and if you have like a cell phone you have to take care of that too so you know living at home or living on your own there are pros and cons to both of those things um, you know overall living on my own has been great we have struggled obviously I mean what person in this economy hasn't it's kind of hard to live on your own and not have a day where you're like what are we gonna do you know so I mean it is great living on your own and it's definitely an eye-opener because I remember um, Growing up, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was spoiled. I didn't really have any responsibilities. I never had to get a job. I never, you know, had to do any of those things. And since living on my own, I've had to learn how to budget my money. I've had to learn not to go out and buy things that I want all the time, which is so hard for me. Sometimes I fail and I do end up splurging, which isn't good. But you have to learn how to budget your money. Instead of going out and buying makeup, I'm going out and buying food. Um, you know, I'm definitely learning to keep lights off. Like sometimes I'll go to the bathroom in the complete dark just because, you know, I'm paying for my electric bill and I don't, I want to use as less, less electricity as possible. So, you know, it's just, it's a big eye opener. And if you want to, if you're planning on moving out on your own, you will, you know, you will realize new things that, you know, will come your way. And it's, 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 it's pretty crazy. So some things on how to be, be prepared for moving out on your own is, Find a place that you see you living in and like you're calling it your your new home in your home. Don't just settle for whatever you find. Make sure that you find some place that you can afford. Make sure you find somewhere that you're comfortable with. Make sure that you know you're just just make sure that you're okay with putting your money into a certain place because you don't want to just throw your money on a place just to move out on your own and end up hating it and being miserable. That's not a way to live. So make sure that you find a really good place. 
Um, make sure you have enough money put away for emergencies, like make sure that you have a certain amount put away for emergencies, like if something were to happen to like, you know, you and you had to go to the hospital or something happens to your car or, you know, something like that and you have to move, make sure that you have enough money put away just in case for emergencies. Um, when we moved into our apartment, we saved up enough money, so we paid off one full year rent in full. Um, just so we wouldn't have to worry about rent. So the only thing we really have to worry about now is just our regular bills. And um, so that's what we did because we just, we didn't want to fuss around with coming up with 665 a month. That would just like drive both of us nuts. So we just decided to save our money and just pay one full year in full so we wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, another thing is only buy the essentials that you need and learn how to budget your money. Um, definitely put like this much to groceries, this much has to go to your electric bill, this much has to go to your cable bill or your cell phone bill. Make sure that you learn how to budget your money. It will help and it does, it does help you in the long run when you're living on your own because you don't just have an endless supply of money because you do have other things that you do have to pay for. So budgeting your money will really, really help you out. What to expect if you are moving in with a significant other, either your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Um, you will get to know that person really, really, really well. Um, you'll learn things that they do that annoy the crap out of you. Um, <laughs> like, I know Chance has this problem with in the kitchen when he opens up a cupboard to get a glass, he will leave the cabinet open. Or in the bathroom, he will leave the bathroom light on when he's in there. So you'll just learn little things that they do when you live with them that you never really like noticed before. So yeah, you'll just get to know the person really, really well. Um, you can or you will run into money issues, like if something happens with the job, you will kind of struggle for money. So like I said earlier with putting some money away, that will really help in the long run. Um, so you just got to be prepared for any money issues, like if something happens like a vet, like if you take your animal to the vet and you have a huge vet bill, or you were in the hospital, or something happened to your car, or your job, or whatever. So don't expect things to go smoothly 100% of the time, because that's just not thinking realistically. Things do happen, shit does happen, that's just the way life is. It can be hard at times, but as long as you are responsible and you try to handle it calmly, which is something I need to do because I stress and worry constantly. I'm always wondering, you know, just, I don't know, I'm just a worry war, I guess. So it can be hard at times, so you just have to learn how to handle it. And there will be kind of fights and tussles with that significant other. Sometimes you just want to like, sometimes you're just hitting heads with that person and you don't really, because you're constantly with them all the time, you're under one roof together. Whereas it used to be you would just go over to their house for a couple hours and then go back to your house. Well, if you're moving in together, they're going to be there every single day, every single night. And there will be kind of times where you're just going to be like, I just want some alone time. So if any of you out there who live with a significant other know what I'm talking about. So there can be fights and tussles with either boyfriend, girlfriend, roommate, whatever you may have. So, you know, it's just best to try to handle those as best as possible without getting too mad. Another thing I need to work on. <laughs> so it's just best to work on those things. Um, some tips that I have for you guys is make sure you're ready to move out. Don't just move out because you want to. Don't just move out because your parents made you mad one day and you just want to move out. Don't do that. Make sure you're 100% ready. Don't push it. Don't rush into it. Um, be smart and be responsible. Um, with it, you know, this is moving out on your own. This is putting your name on a lease for an apartment You know, just make sure that you're ready and responsible to take on all of that at once um, And the best of all make sure to enjoy living on your own um, And embrace it because you're gonna be doing it the rest of your life so Make your apartment look however you want enjoy it, you know have friends over have parties. It's fun That's just everything that I really wanted to recommend to you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it may have helped you if you are moving in with with someone or moving out on your own. Um, I just kind of wanted to share my personal experience with you guys, kind of a different video and it was requested by a subscriber of mine who is moving in with her boyfriend soon. So thank you for requesting it, it's a really good idea and if any of you were wondering about this, well here's the video for you. So until then, I will see you guys very very soon in my next video. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out all my links below and if you have any other questions for me, make sure to ask me a question um, either down here or if you want to 
to keep it more private, go ahead and message me on my Facebook, Brianne Barbie Facebook page, which is linked below, and I will answer the question for you guys. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.